Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Animal Dreadnoughts and Taskmaster Tuesday uh, and the finale of Season 4. And actually the finale of Taskmaster itself, at least uh, for a little while. Um, <laughs> the other Admirals, um, I think, uh, kind of feeling a bit burnt out on doing Taskmaster and uh, doing Ultimate Admiral in general. Um, has been a while with... Uh, no campaign and things like that. Um, so uh, this will be the last Taskmaster for the foreseeable future. However, that does not mean we cannot make it epic. Now, today's task is an interesting one. There's a lot to consider. Um, the basic idea is that we... Oops. <laughs> is that... Well, I tell you what, I'm going to do this backwards. I'm going to explain the points first. So, points. To get 10 points if we sink, manage to sink at least a third of the enemies we go up against. We get 10 points for surviving the battle with more than 50% structural integrity. Uh, we can have multiple ships. Um, I'm not sure how that applies if you have multiple ships, but I'm just going for one, so that's not a problem. Be the fastest to complete your mission, 10 points. Have the cheapest ship or ships. 10 points, and sink the most ships of all the contestants. So, I can bring a, any ship I like, but what ship I bring affects what comes in over here. And I'm going to go for a heavy cruiser. So if I go for a heavy cruiser, then the enemy gets two light cruisers and three destroyers. Now, I'm going for this for a couple of reasons. First of all, there's five ships here, uh, which is the, the equal largest amount that can can spawn in so if you went for a battleship you'd get five enemy ships to sink uh, and the same if you went for a destroyer but I think this is the best matchup uh, next it's because it's a heavy cruiser against a light and a destroyer I reckon I can armor up the heavy cruiser enough that it shouldn't take too much damage unless I get torpedoed um, this should also be relatively quick, um, and it should be relatively cheap. So I'm kind of going middle of the road and hoping that it works out. Uh, we do have a three-year tech disadvantage, though. So let's get into the design. The Armoured Cruiser 5. Now, I also knew that this, this was going to be the hull, um, and it's a very, very nice Armoured Cruiser, this thing. Uh, the Fust Bismarck. It's appropriate enough. Yeah, so we have to go with minimum displacement for this. But it's a pretty nice one. Um, 9 base accuracy, 15 base accuracy. My word. Um, that's actually a sizable increase. Let me go. Oh, it's huge. I'm going to go for the 6. Think. Might change my mind later. Rear towers. Just go for the cheap one. Keep my costs down a little bit. Okay. Uh, now, I could go for fancy things, but. Yeah, single funnel, coal, 22.5, smoke interference. Um, that's fine by me. Uh, I will go for the turbines though. And we'll go force boilers. 20. This thing will still make 20, 20. 24 knots, just about. Right range is not important. Um, Quite like an auxiliary diesel engine, just in case. Go for the high-end armor. Now guns. What X? What do we get access to? Mark three, eleven inch. Hmm. That's probably overkill against a light cruiser. To be honest, <laughs> I think an eight-inch gun will probably do the job. 
also cheaper and lighter. And I can actually fit quite a lot on this ship, but we'll go with uh, four. I think that gives us a pretty decent... Um, oh, I've got a massive four-weight offset. I might do something a bit different then. I might go four... Set up like that. Now that gives me an aft-weight offset. Tuck that in. Try and keep it centered. There we go. Just move this turret forward a little bit. There we go. And then casement guns. I think. I think. I think the fives. Gives a nice little boost to our firepower, and then there should be some two inch shove in there as well. Yes. Oh, I've got a four weight offset again, but what we can do? We can shift the towers back. Something like that. Okay. Uh, torpedoes, I probably won't need because uh, we're just butchering light cruisers and things. Um, now, because of that, let's see propellant. I'm going to go with tube powder. Uh, it might seem odd, but. Um, I'm going to go chew powder dunite. <laughs> and again, I know that might seem like an odd choice. Why wouldn't you go for more of an HE build? But yeah, I, d I don't want this thing blowing up on me. I will go for heavy shells. 3% flash fire chance. Okay. Got loads of displacement left. It's going to bring all the protection in the world. Okay. Uh, flash fire chance is still 2%. But if I armor up the ship enough, we should be okay. Now, uh, let's say the light cruisers were using 7-inch guns. So if we're, we're armored up against our own guns, we should be fine. So... The maximum pen these things can get. I know they have slightly better text, but so but it's just a guide. So about 1.3 inches of deck armor. And we're roughly doubling. So I reckon if I have one inch on the decks, we will be pretty much golden. Can we get one inch on the turrets as well? <laughs> yes, we can. Okay, good. And then belt pen, we're talking about 20 inch. So we want 10 inch at least on the mid belt. 8 inch guns probably want a little bit thicker at 12. It'd be nice to get 10 inch on the casement. Well, the 5 inch casement guns. Um, forward belt, let's get that. Okay, I'm going to reduce my aft and foredeck a little bit because they are quite heavy in order to get a little bit more belts armor. So our main belt is pretty tanky. Our fore and aft belt should keep out small arms, small arms, small caliber guns. Um, but uh, other than that, it should be pretty tanky. I quite like this ship, actually. A little bit of a forward set. There we go. It's uh, it's an interesting looking thing. Hmm. 
what do we, you let me know what you think of the comments of this this particular design so we're going in with a cost of 12.5 million which is not too shabby um although i am with cadets so the only thing to think about here is crew mm. Ooh, that's a good point i can go cramped and get a bit more armor so this is going to change my cost things <laughs> There we go. Uh, now then, training. If I go full veteran crew. Where does it start reducing my bonuses? About there, 90. So I'll go for a 90. So my cost is not 12.5, but 18.3 million. That's not too bad. Right, let's see if the first Bismarck can get the job done. Two light cruisers, three destroyers. Hmm. Smack spotted to the north. Let's get going. Bobs around a bit. <laughs> but uh, I think it should have a pretty good accuracy. Especially with that veteran crew. Yeah, smoke spotted to the north. Enemy light cruiser. Uh, might have some underwater torpedoes. Possible. Let's get on and set course. And we've spotted a destroyer as well. Two. Oh. Two double launchers, one each side, and a triple launcher. So they've got quite a lot of torpedoes. That's less than ideal. Good hit. to chase down the destroyers as best I can. Ooh, torpedoes. That'll be a destroyer spread. Accuracy's okay. No IDs on any of these. Okay, the cruisers do have torpedoes. That's not the best. And torpedoes in the water as well. Good hit. those destroyers as quick as I can. More good hits. Come on, sink them. You've got minimum bulk hits. A couple more hits and they're done. Yeah, this is what I was hoping for. The HE 8 inch shells can actually pen the armour on the uh, light cruisers. They're just that powerful. Come on. Oh, no, I wanted a flooding hit. God damn. Uh, 
Might kill it with fire. There we go. Flooding, that'll do her in. Surely. Yes, good, good. Alright, more torpedoes to dodge. No, 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 no. Kill those uh, destroyers, please. Standard bulk kits, okay. Because she's about to fire. Destroyed a torpedo launcher. That's pretty nice. Things are tricky to hit. I'll tell you that much. How fast are they? 37 knots. Good grief. In 1915, no wonder. Nah. Oh, no, 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 no. Between them. <laughs> no! Cross tops! Shit! Oh my god. <gasps> Did not see the cross tops coming. It's fine. Still above 50% structure. Must be low on ammunition, surely. Or did they go for increased the little shits? Uh, ammo torp standard on the cruiser. Standard. So, oh come on, guys! Endless. Forwards, 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 forwards. forwards. Uh, that's not a good time to get the rid of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's because they got the, all those launches. Right, let's uh, see if we can finish off the light cruiser. It's a bit of an easier target. While we continue to dodge torpedoes, the longer we in game, still under half an hour. You don't. No. Damn it, steering. God damn it. Eh. <laughs> Missed anyway. Right, light cruiser down. That's uh, another 10. Well, that's, a, that's 10 points scored because. Uh, they, uh, that's a third of their fleet. I don't think I'm going to get fastest. <laughs> I need to just about touch the torpedoes. Thank goodness I brought that anti-torpedo belt boat. Okay, destroy it down, finally. Of course he's going to fire a full fucking spread. How does he have that many to Ah oh. No, we're okay, we're okay. Yeesh. Still 
still above 50%. We're good. Engine damage is a bit annoying, but it uh, shouldn't affect us too much. Oh, that was a good hit. Now oh, they just fired torpedoes at me. This five inch gun has really done a lot of damage. Flooding hit, that's good. Now we're looking on time 9.23. Okay. Nine twenty-two forty. Okay. Well, uh, I sunk a third of the enemy, so that's ten. Uh, I survived with fifty percent remaining, so that's another ten. Fastest? I don't know. I completed the mission. Uh, well, according to the game clock, with nine hours twenty-two minutes forty seconds left. Um, cheapest uh well we're at 18.3 million so 18 million three hundred and thirty eight thousand one hundred and seventy dollars and most sunk five we'll uh, we'll see if anyone has we'll see how the others did because uh, yeah I'm, I'm curious anyway thank you very much for joining me for this very special episode of taskmaster and i will see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, but not Dance Master. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.